Hey everyone, how's it going? So everyone has really been shocked by the sudden death of Chadwick Boseman, who played the Black Panther in the Marvel movies. So in today's video, I thought I would show you guys how to draw an actual Black Panther in honor of him. And we have a special guest up here who hasn't been with us for a while. We have Miami joining us. And she is very tired right now, but she also kind of is in a little bit of a mood. And I think she will probably start biting me as soon as I start drawing. So we're just going to see how much of this we can get drawn without her biting or attacking me. So to start off with our Black Panther, we want to begin with the eye. And we're going to make him kind of walking. So I'm going to start right over here. And I just want to draw the eye. So I'm going to start by just drawing a little line that just goes down like this. And then you want to add a small little curve line right here. And then right here, I'm going to add another line that just goes down. And then I'm just going to continue this line right here. Let's get Miami's hair out of here. Now, starting up here, we're going to make the head. So I'm going to start right here and I'm going to draw a line that just goes right down to the eye like this. And then starting right here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to go down for the front of the nose. And then we want to just curve this down. Now starting here, you want to make a little line that curves in for the nose. And then I'm going to draw a line that just kind of curves down and it's going to come around here for the mouth. Then I'm going to draw a little line that goes down and it's going to curve around for the chin of our panther. Now starting here, we're just going to kind of curve up for where the face is going to be. And we'll make a little line down for the neck. Now I want to come up here and draw the ears. So I'm going to start right up here. I'm going to have the ears sticking up. So I'm going to make a line that's going to curve up and then it's going to come back down. And I'm going to make this a little bit wider up here. This is going to get all covered up. So I just want a little bit bigger ear. Now starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's just going to come across here. I'm going to make a line that goes up and then down for the shoulder. And then I'm going to make a nice line that goes straight across and it's going to curve down here for the back. Then starting here, I'm going to draw a line that goes down for the chest. And this is going to run right into that first leg. So I'm going to draw a line that goes down. And then to make a paw, all I want to do is draw a line that's going to curve down and that's going to curve around like this. Then I'm going to add another little curve line right over here for another toe. And then they have pretty big paws, so I'm going to bring this out. And then I'm going to kind of curve it around and bring it up to here. Now, starting right about here, you want to make a line that's just going to curve down and then up like this. And I want this leg to kind of be stretched out like it's walking. So we're going to start here and we're going to make a line that's just going to go down like this. I'm going to come down and I'm going to make this paw right here. So just curve around. Now I'm going to add one of those little toes in here, so I'll put another little curved line right there. Then I want this line to come up, and we're going to go over and kind of run right into about there. Now starting here, we're going to add that other leg, so I'm just going to draw a line that's just going to go down, and it's going to kind of curve back over a little bit. And it's going to come down and it's going to come around. It's going to go up in and then kind of curve to here. 
Then we'll add a little curved line for the toe. Now starting right down here by the neck, I'm going to make a line that goes down. And then I'm going to go out like this. And then for this one, I'm going to add a little curved line right here. And then I'm going to add another curved line here. And then I'm going to add a couple more right around here just to make it look like the paw is kind of moving. Then I'm going to curve in. And you just want to take this line up and into here. Now I'm going to make this just a little bit wider back here and I'm going to draw a line that's going to come right down to the foot. I'm going to pop it out and then just kind of curve it around for the tail since we don't have a whole lot of room back here. Now back up here, I'm going to draw a line that goes up and then it's going to come down for that other ear. And then for a few details on here, I'm going to draw a line that just kind of goes down. It's going to come up. I'm going to kind of color right around there. I'm going to add a little curved line right around here. For the pupil, I'm just going to add a little black dot inside there. And then I'm going to add some quick little whiskers onto here. Then right on here for the paws, I'm going to add the pad. So I'm just going to put a small little circle shape on each one of these little pads here. And I want to add one that kind of curves around and comes back for that center pad. And there you go. That's basically your drawing of the Black Panther. Now, when you come in here and start doing the coloring, some people want to add spots, some people don't. I'll probably come in here and add spots. And when you add spots, I'll show you real quickly. All you want to do is you're going to start off with like some smaller ones up here towards the front, and then you're going to slowly make them get bigger as they come back here. And when you add the spots of our Black Panther, you're just going to kind of add some little curved lines like this. And they're almost kind of spots, but they're almost broken in there too. And you're just going to kind of fill those in all around here. So I'm going to just put all those in later when I do all of my coloring, but you're just going to add something like this right around. It's almost like not a complete spot. It's kind of broken up. You'll put something in there like this all the way around here. But there you go. There is your drawing of a Black Panther. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.